Welcome back to the homestead everyone. Today we've got something really cool to show you and that is a galvanized metal pipe chicken coop. We're going to show you how to put it together and how fast it is to put together and it can be used for three different things. You can use it as an extension to your current run, you can use it as a separate coop all by itself or you can also use it as a chicken tractor. Now to make the chicken tractor it takes a couple of modifications but we're going to show you how to do that too in a later video so stay tuned to the channel. But for now let's get going and show you how easy it is to put this thing together. So the one that we got is 10 foot wide by 13 feet long by six and a half feet tall. Okay, so what shipped to you is three separate boxes. Now mine came on different days. I don't know why that is, but they said don't be alarmed by that. So if you do order this one, don't be alarmed by that. In this long box over here, we've got some of our galvanized poles and our chicken wire. Over here, we've got our little tarp that goes on the top and we've got some more of the galvanized poles, the shorter ones. And I'll show you these things in a minute. This is cool. And over on the end, we've got a box of connectors and all the other hardware you need for this project. So here's the beautiful thing about this coop. It's got quick connectors. You can take it apart and put it back together again as many times as you want and need. And that makes it super, super simple to put together. And as you can see, even the top pieces are all quick connect. Now there are some that you're going to need some simple tools for just a ratchet and a wrench and that is to install the door but that's no big deal there's not many that need the tools. So here's one of the bottom feet that it comes with and it's really cool. It'll sit flat and it's got holes in it so you can anchor it down to the ground. Now the first thing we're going to do is lay out all of the feet on the ground. This is the G, this is the F, this is the E2. And this is the E1. I'm letting you know which one's which because some of them don't have labels on them, although it's not rocket science. And a nice little touch, they put a 14 and 12 millimeter wrench inside the packet and also all of your hardware is in a reusable bag because the coop is made to come apart and then be reassembled again. So it's nice to have a reusable bag for all the hardware. So the F1s go on the sides, the Gs go on the ends, and then the E2s are opposite corners from one another, and the E1s are opposite corners from one another. So there's E1, E1, E2, E2. Now we're going to connect these ends by the number one poles. And then we're going to connect the sides with the number two poles. So I've just found out really quick that my barn is way smaller than I thought it was. Let's move this assembly outside. These are so easy to get together, they're not really stiff, so they pop right into place. Now let's get the upper poles in place. The upright poles are going to be your number three poles. Alright, next thing's next. Your H connectors and your D connectors. D connectors on the end, H connectors in the middle. There's an H right here, right in the center, and a D on the end. Next part is the roof. Your six number four poles, your last H connector, and the other two D connectors. Your H connector will go in the middle, like the other ones, snap right into place. Do the same things on the ends with the D connectors. And the last thing, the rest of your number two poles. And that just connects all the sides together. I literally just put this frame together in just a couple of minutes. I think it took me longer to get them out of the boxes than it did to put that frame up. So it is super simple for anybody to do. Now let's show you how to get the door together, the netting on, and the tarp. Now I know what you're saying. This thing isn't predator proof. Well, no, nothing is. And if we use this as a chicken run or a extra coop, we're going to stake it to the ground. But we've also got an additional strategy, and I'll show you that toward the end of the video, that will keep critters out. Now let's get the rest of this thing put together and I bet you this is the fastest coop build you've ever seen. 
Life of a homesteader, middle of the project, I need to take a break and feed my girls dinner. I will be right back. And we're back from feeding the girls. Now it's time to assemble the door. This door is easy. It's just got three parts and two connectors. Basically, these two snap together. And those parts you saw me assemble are parts A and B. The short bottom one is for the bottom of the door, and this is part C. To attach the bottom threshold of the door, you'll need four of these clamps and two of the 12 millimeter carriage bolts. And this is how it goes together. It just goes over the outside jam of the door and clamps and holds it in place. Now it's time to get our door frame in. You're gonna need this U-shaped bracket, which is T and the number five poles. Just loop it over the top on one end and secure it with another 12 millimeter carriage bolt. On the bottom, we're gonna attach it with another one of these clamps, which is part I. It's gonna be handy to have a level in this case so you can get your door frame nice and straight. Now here's a little pro tip. Before you tighten everything down on these door frame jams, these kind of wobble around like this, you want to put the header in. After you get the header on with the rest of these clamps and the other 12 millimeter bolts, then you can plumb the sides and level the top much easier. So the instructions don't tell you, but this header should be five foot, one and a quarter inch from the underside of the header to the top of the bottom rail. That'll give the minimal clearance for the door to go in here. Now we're gonna hang our door. We're gonna need parts J, that's both of these, and the 14 millimeter bolt. This one goes on your jam, on your frame out here and this one goes on your door. Here's another tip, these brackets are really wide. I believe they're made for chain link fencing and not this thinner pole. So, to be able for them to fit around this really well, you're gonna need to grab a pair of pliers, a pair of channel lock pliers, and pull them together, smash them together so that your bolt makes it through the other side. So the last thing is putting the latch on the door and that's gonna go on the door frame here. This all together is part M, this little baggie here in this latch, and you have two extra 12 millimeter bolts. Just mount it at a comfortable height for you, put the back plate on, and tighten it down. So point of reference, I did move this header up another half inch, so that would be five foot, one and three quarters. It just moved in the space a little bit easier. Also, these right here, on this particular kit are not the proper size. So it's incredibly difficult. You gotta crank down on these a lot to get them to stay in place on this thin tube as they're made for regular chain link fencing. Now let's get that chicken wire netting on. They give you a roll of wire as well as some zip ties. This is where the instructions go off the rails. It's just kind of put it together yourself. So I'm gonna use the zip ties for the bottom portion to secure it on the horizontal pieces, and I'm gonna use the wire on the ends and the verticals. Now you may need a second pair of hands getting this wire over the entire structure, but I think we'll be able to do it by ourselves. So we got that over really easily. It only stuck for a second on those quick connect buttons. Now we're gonna zip tie it to our bottom, pull it tight, cut the other side, and zip tie that. Now at the bottom, I'm actually gonna zip tie it to this vertical as well just to keep it centered. To finish up our coop, we are just gonna take the stranded wire that they provided for us, and we're gonna wrap it through our chicken wire and around our poles. Now you can do this on every single one on the entire coop. I don't think that's necessary, but to make it more secure, you can do that. So just wrap it in a twisting, spiraling motion all the way up, and that should secure everything just fine. Now the very last thing is to put the tarp on. You can put it over the front, the rear, it really doesn't matter. Now it's pretty thin, but it'll still keep the sun off your birds. It's super simple to attach with these little bungee connectors. All we're gonna do for that is place the end of the loop through the grommet and around our pole and loop it around like that. Holds it on nice and secure.
Now, as you can see from my friend Duke in here, you can also use this as a dog run. We hope those instructions were helpful. Now we're gonna do a couple things to turn it into a coop. First, we need a nesting box and a roosting bar. And to be able to install those, we're gonna use some scrap wood and some one inch pipe straps. So you may need some little helpers when you put these support pieces on to hold the board while you're screwing in your pipe straps. And if you run out of those pre-measured tube straps, you can always use just regular metal strapping. So converting this run to a coop is really, really simple. All we did was we put some scrap support pieces along the back and we've got this cool little single nesting box from Rent-A-Coop. It was really inexpensive and check out inside. So we've got an egg door. How cool is that? This little egg door right here and all the eggs, it's angled so all the eggs just roll to the front all we have to do is pick them out of the front and what I did actually is it doesn't come with a back piece here I just put a piece of scrap plywood back there to give the chicken some privacy and I understand why they didn't do that is because this usually would sit inside of a coop against a wall or something like that but we just put it up there to give her a sense of comfort and enclosure, which is what they need in a nesting box. I could have used scrap plywood and made something like this really quick, but this was really inexpensive. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. And then over here, we did a really quick roosting bar with some scrap treated one by twos and one by fours that we had left over from when we tore down our DIY greenhouse. If you haven't seen that greenhouse, check out up here. Now, as it stands, this is not secure enough for our area. We have a lot of predators. Your areas might be different, but we need to do something extra to this to make it secure for our girls inside of it. And the way we're gonna make that secure is by adding our very first electric fence. And we're gonna use a solar energizer to power it. But we're gonna be saving that electric fence install for another video. So if you're interested in this chicken run, we'll have the link for it in the description below, as well as anything else we used on the project. Now click this video right here, which tells you the proper timing for bringing your chicks from your brooder to your coop. Have a great day, we love you. See you on the next video, bye.